What is up heroes, this is Minite Zero, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we started off our adventure by clearing Spiral Mountain and then Mumbo's Mountain, and then we made our way over here and unlocked our very first musical note door, which led me to come up with a pretty uh, interesting discovery, and that's that I can't actually copy my save file, so I can't have like a practice save file, or if something goes wrong in the recording, Unfortunately, it may cause some problems, which is definitely unique to the Xbox 360 version. I was able to, um, I guess, keep practice file and stuff when I was recording this for the N64. But all that to say that there's actually a caption Grunty would tell you here when you walk in for the first time that unfortunately I had to re-record. And that caption is, that door was easy you got past, unfortunately, your first and last. So, again, she's making fun of Banjo and taunting him as he's progressing through the lair. But, we have someone over here. Hello there, young ones. I'm Bruntilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press X if you'd like to hear them. So interestingly, these actually matter. Monsters chase you. They're a hounding. <laughs> then you'll get a, a grunty pounding. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, these are actually important. They seem just kind of like odd, I guess maybe like world building traits, but no, they, they matter quite a bit. So we're gonna pay attention. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug flavored toothpaste. That's good to know. She also washes her hair with rancid milk. Yuck. That does not sound like an enjoyable process. <laughs> and she gets her clothes from the witch's warehouse. So rancid milk, salty slug, and the witch's warehouse. Thank you, Brentilda, for your help. So over here you'll notice we have another one of those fancy schmancy paintings for none other than... Oops, what? Nope, oh, okay, I guess I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Treasure Trove Cove. To remove pieces that you have already put down, Move the right stick down, but once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. We've got plenty of jiggies to spare. So there you have it, we've unlocked Treasure Trove Cove. Very excited. Another wonderful level. And again, I lost my, uh, lost my thought. <coughs> Let's explore this little area here. Got a little corridor where we meet this little magical melting pot, this cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. So this is kind of like a fast travel mechanism for Grunty's lair, which is definitely appreciated because it gets quite expansive over time. Interesting, there was a mumbo token here, but it was hidden by the camera. That's both, uh, I don't know. A little mean, but also very clever. So there's something we can't exactly use at the moment, but we've already unlocked that, so lovely. It's so interesting playing this game in widescreen. I really actually appreciate it. It makes a huge difference, in addition to obviously the HD texture quality. So again, we're kind of exploring around in Grunty's lair. We can make our way up here. I don't remember exactly where everything is, so we may or may not be going in the right direction. This, I don't think, is where we want to be right now. So, we'll come back another time. But again, I appreciate the overworld. The N64 definitely had a few games that, I guess, took advantage of this concept, namely Mario 64, and then Banjo, um, where there are you know, multiple levels you interact with, or you need to go to to obtain various collectibles, you know, achieve certain objectives. But there was an overworld you explored to, I guess, um, to find these various... Oh, got ourselves a new item. Levels. Lucky you. I'm an invulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. That he will. Is there anything on top of this pipe here? Oh! Long of tooth and strong of arm. Grunty's got the lasting charm. <laughs> I'm sure you do, Grunty. You keep telling yourself that. So we found ourselves another Mumbo token. And here's a nice little close-up of Banjo. <laughs> Forgive me for being immature, but I had to. 
Okay. So let's, um, wait, what? I swear I, uh, rolled into him. But that's alright. Again, this is not a game that's going to be very taxing on my health. Ah, uh, you found some notes, but you need more to break my spell and pass this door. So we need 180 for that, so we obviously can't go there. So next up is going to be climbing down here. I don't know. I think this is where it is. We're still, we're plenty good on eggs, so I'm not going to take the time to swim and collect all those at the moment. But yeah, again, guys, um, I haven't played this game in a couple years, so please forgive me as I re-explore this lovely game from my childhood. You'll notice here is a... Whoa, this is missing. This is for Click Clock Wood. We'll be back here quite a bit later. Are there any Mumbo tokens in here? Hiding behind these roots? Maybe. But we found a Bruntilda, so let's chat with her while we can. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt <laughs> at Witch School. Okay. What else you got for us? I also know that Putrid Parrot Puke is her favorite smell. Okay. And the old hag's favorite color is gruesome green. Hey, that's that's pretty close to midnight zero green. Don't be hating. <laughs> oh, there's an extra life there. I knew. I, I, after that mumbo token from before, makes me think that the camera's gonna be hiding a whole bunch of different collectibles from us. Yep, there it is. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so now that we've done that, we'll continue onward. Nope, not not that way, Banjo. <laughs> Over here. It's also interesting using the Xbox controller. I've, for those of you that don't know me, um, I always pick up PlayStation consoles and Nintendo consoles. I've never owned an Xbox console, and I still don't. Uh, big thank you to my younger brother, Jack, who lent me his Xbox One X so that I can actually play this. Something behind here? Nope. Okay. Surprised, but... Either way, this is <clears throat> Treasure Trove Cove, so let's hop on in. Ahoy there! <laughs> this be Treasure Trove Cove. There be two new moves for ye to find. <laughs> I love that. So one of the first things we're going to do is get this out of the way. Snacker smells tasty dinner. No! He's already getting us. Snackers scared me to death when I was a kid. You get in the water and all of a sudden there's this shark with like the dun 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 dun. It's like menacing music. Little kid me did not appreciate it. So we're going to get that out of the way as fast as we possibly can. Get ourselves a Jinjo. These crabs, I believe they have armor, so <clears throat> you need to kind of ground pound them, I guess. <laughs> We've got ourselves a new, not quite collectible, but item. Whee! I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly. When she knows how. <laughs> yeah. We don't quite know that yet. So what do we have going on over here? What? That's not where I wanted to go. We'll take care of you before you become a problem. <clears throat> hey, this Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, crustacean something. Grr, cheeky bird need feathers clipping. <laughs> oh yeah? Just try it, shellhead. <laughs> Kazooie is such a character. Okay, so it, if you couldn't tell, it's like a couple swipes, and then momentary drop in defenses, and we can go in there and take it out. So down goes Nippers. So we can finally go inside that shell, and I knew it. There's a Mumbo token. I never really went out of my way to collect all of these when I was a kid, or even really when I completed the game last, so I'll definitely try to keep an eye out for them now. They're not a collectible that really matters all that much. There's plenty of leeway, but yeah, it's fun. <laughs> what a great environment. I love the colors and the, the soft music and everything. What? I thought I started my uh, my ground pound, but either way, we got a two for one there, and a jiggy. Make it all worth it. Go! <laughs> I can't help myself sometimes. It's just such a fun sound effect to, to mimic. But yeah, I, I never really own Xbox consoles. Not that they're bad, it's just that the exclusives never really mean that much to me, but Rare Replay. 
Rare Replay was the one <laughs> that I really, really wanted. So there's some feathers up there. How about up here? More feathers? Yeah, probably. Can we get up there for now? Not quite. It's alright. We'll keep on exploring. As you can see, the world's already starting to get a little bit more expansive than um, Mumbo's Mountain. And we got ourselves a pirate ship here. You bet we're going to explore that. We've got these notes here and over there. And you can obviously see there's a pathway up there. We're going to be walking around plenty. Is that sobbing? Is that somebody to, that we can help as heroes? Well, allow me. Ahoy there. I'm Captain Blubber, and I lost me treasure when me ship crashed. Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts. <laughs> Arr, but I can't swim. Can you help an old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. I love Banjo's just like derpy sound effects. So we gotta go find the the treasure. I think it's all actually in here. Yep. So if we fall in here, or at least one of them is, we gotta do some swimming for it. There is a mumbo token. And some music notes. Hopefully I do a decent job of genuinely exploring to, to find these notes, but then also just remembering maybe where some of the really tricky ones are. And the other one is on the other side. Interesting. Oh, hey there. I be Blubber's treasure. <laughs> I love the sound effects yet again. But yeah, one of the difficulties with this game is if you're trying to complete it and you can't remember where... Here, take the, take the gold. <laughs> Thanks. If you can't remember where those last notes are. There we go. So obviously, whichever one you find first, you find out that there's another one, you can see the gold, you're not going to be, you know, hunting over the entirety of the level trying to find it. Great. Missed the note. You can see the difference in the swim speed, right? But then also in the control. The underwater music is really nice, too. Oh, did my extra lives not stay from the last time I played? I don't think they did. Oh, that's that's a bummer. Not gonna really... It shouldn't. I won't say it's not going to, but it really shouldn't matter all that much. Alright. Take the gold. Where do I throw it? <laughs> I'm just kind of like waiting for it to happen. Me treasure! Thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, spend, spend! It is about that time of the year, isn't it? Black Friday, holiday season. Alright, so now that we have that, we have these notes baiting us up here, so that is what we'll do. Before I forget about these ones, <laughs> let's pick these up too. Is there, what does that actually say? Salty hippo. <laughs> That's actually very fitting, given the hippo's predicament. And I also noticed a mumbo token on the top of this pole, so... There we go. Now we'll go back up. Do you hear that? Help! This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last! It better be easy, bog eyes. Simply enough, simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you. So I think up the top and here, yeah. We got ourselves our second Jinjo. So now we can fly. Do I want to do that right now? Sure. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what's uh, most efficient, but tie flyer, or to, to fly higher, You'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one. But remember that Beaky can only carry 50 of them. Okay, that's good to know. You can also turn sharply while in the air by pressing the right or left bumper. Oh, I don't think I ever really knew that. But anyways, this be Gruntilda's booty. Touch it if you dare. Aw, oh, yeah. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. 
So now that we have that, we can jump on down here. And quickly before Snackers gets us. Ah, cheese and crackers. Just wait there. Oh, interesting. Look, nice snacks for Yum Yum. So he eats up our, like, resources. Can I fight this thing? Yeah, I can. And so we've got a Mumbo token there. Hmm. Although it looks like I'm gonna have to do some risky swimming to get there. Leave me alone! There we go. Alright. Token successfully acquired. I guess we can try to get over this one. Come on, come on! Obviously playing off of the, uh, the whole Jaws trope. But it's fun. Let's see. So we got some stuff over there we could take a look at. Oh, and look, there's the... Wow, it's interesting. I'm pretty sure the draw distance is so different compared to the N64. So we'll be back there, I'm sure. But in the meantime... We are going to pick up these notes. I missed one. And we're going to go over this way. Because there's this kind of hidden little area over here. Tucked away. And I'm fairly confident that we'll be rewarded with a Jiggy. There we go. And we're almost at our cap of 100 eggs as well. I wonder if... Oh, this is probably not a good idea. <laughs> Instant regret. There's Snackers. He's gonna catch up to us. Run! Jump! Swim, Banjo! I believe in you! Oh, and there's the other one! Come on! Oh, darn it. Got us in time. Alright, well, we can heal up briefly, but did you guys see that? I actually didn't remember that that was there. The honeycomb container. So I guess what we can maybe do to really maximize our ability to get that without dying <laughs> is to kind of do this. And we might just have to... Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take a hit. <laughs> Alright. We've taken one. We gotta get out of here. Time to scramble, Banjo. Ooh, that I think that gives me a little more distance. But anyways, we got that, so go us. <laughs> What's in here? Anything of interest? No, not really, just eggs. Okay, well, we could, yeah, let's do this. This might seem a little bit ha haphazard. Again, I don't really have a, you know, a specific plan for collecting everything in these levels. I'm not a speedrunner. I haven't played the game in a couple years, and I'm just kind of enjoying the scenery, the excellent music, and the charm of this game. There's an extra life over there. What does that say? Can I, like, zoom in? No? Shark Food Island? <laughs> that's really funny. Presumably that's what happens if you're going out there for whatever's out there. We got this little bucket over here. Me leaky. No good for water. Can bear a block hole with pebble? <laughs> so they always refer to these eggs as stones, which is just funny in general. Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bear. So now that that water is gone, we can access a new area. So let's hop on up here so we can pick up these notes. And then, I guess, I mean, we're here, right? So might as well hop on in, in the sand castle. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. So we'll pick up these notes while they're explaining that. And now, I'll have you know, I completed the first Professor Layton game. And, and I see all these letters on the floor here, and there's the word Banjo-Kazooie written on the uh, side. I wonder, I wonder what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got to spell out Banjo-Kazooie here. We just need to do it within the time limit. They give us, you know, a minute and a half, so there's more than enough time. Although I should probably hold off on saying that until <laughs> I've actually completed it. Famous last words, right? Alright. 
Just a couple more letters. There's the other O. And then I believe we have to fight this guy. Yep. The gate opens to reveal your prize. But first I'll cut you down to size. I, I love when they do that. Alright. What? So you have to hit it once to knock it over, and then you're good to go. Now, if I recall correctly, you can input passwords at this place. I don't remember exactly what any of them are, but I think you can. Is there anything hidden on this wall? No? Okay. What does the ceiling look like? I never took the time to really look around much in first person when I was a kid, unless I absolutely had to because I was so confused. But sometimes it's just nice to, like, I don't know, appreciate the scenery, you know? Alright, so we got all of the things from there. Did I hear a help? Hmm. No, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. So there's the other container thing. Oh, and another mumbo token. <laughs> We're just finding them all over the place now. Let's see if we can get to, out to here without... Oh, there's Snackers. Snackers is already on our tail. Oh, he's gonna get us just at the end there. Dang. But it's alright. It was worth it in the end. And again, we can get health in plenty of different places, so... We'll be just fine. There's our Jinjo. Okay. So what do we want to do next? Let's head over this way. We can climb up this. And... Oh, here's bottles. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. <laughs> Don't worry. The turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Hmm. Your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Aw, oh, thanks, Bottles. Nice going. You've learned all the Cove's new moves. Awesome. So now we can do this kind of like trampoline-esque jump in. There's, there's another Mumbo token. I shouldn't be surprised. So obviously, we're gonna want to use it to jump over here. And something you saw is that once you start using it, you can kind of like jump off the platform in a really odd manner and then use it to get a little bit more height. Oh, what? Depth perception lied to me. I should've just played it safe. But yeah, it's kind of like an odd mechanic, I guess. And it's not intuitive at first, but yeah, you can just kind of like jump off and then spring up. And I mean, it's fine. I think, I'm pretty sure there are parts in the game where you, like, you really need to utilize the fact that you can jump in such a manner. Alright. We got some notes to pick up up here. So that's what we'll do. And now I think we're going to want to head over that way. Some red feathers. I guess we'll pick them up. Again, we can only hold 50, so it's not like we're in desperate need of them. <laughs> but sometimes it's nice to just kind of have max of everything. And we've got ourselves another Jiggy. Cool. Huh? So we've only got four more here. There are some notes in there, so we're definitely going to want to... Oh man. Okay, so I'll be, I'll be patient. I'll do this jump to get in. There we go. And we only need 20 more notes, so we're making good progress on that front, too. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. So I guess now we'll go over this way. I know we looked over here before, but didn't actually explore. Sure enough, we're getting close to that 100 note total. Can we go up here? Yep. A little bit of a platforming segment. Nothing too crazy, but interestingly enough, we're greeted with this X. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Oh, we are definitely looking for gold. 
Oh, and there are some more notes to get. Darn, I wish I had realized sooner, but that's okay. Well, we'll be back for the Jinjo. Actually, let's see if we can swoop up the Jinjo while flying. Ready? 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 Nice! So we've only got one more left, which is pretty cool. Oh, I missed. Again, plus one for the uh, depth perception. So while we're here, I'm actually gonna pick up these notes before I forget. Because again, one of the worst things you can do in this game is forget which notes you have and have not gotten. Is there something down here? Oh, there's a mumbo token, so we'll go with it. Goes without saying, but that's a mine. You don't want to be around that <laughs> at all. <laughs> so try to avoid it, like the plague or COVID. It's more topical. Now that we have the spring jump, or shock jump, or whatever it's called, <laughs> we can jump up here too. And we can pick up those notes. We already have the Jinjo. Technically don't need this extra life, but I could resist. Alright, now I'm sure there's, there's probably a Jiggy down there, isn't there? Yeah, there it is. My gamer senses were tingling. <laughs> okay. So that's seven. Whoa. Camera flipped on me there. So now... Let's see. I think we've only got a few more, and we still have a Jinjo to find, so... That's one of them. And there's another Mumbo token. <laughs> so we'll definitely pick that up. Oh, wait. What? Two Mumbo tokens? Wow. <laughs> that sound effect. <laughs> so funny every time. Alright, so now that we have that, we can get back to our little flying quest. This music is so great. So cheery. And so fitting for the environment. There's the camera again. Okay, so let's get back to following these clues, right? Whoosh. That like whoosh sound effect. This is probably total long shot, but if anybody has seen the Woodman is incredible, like Mega Man 2 parody on YouTube. That, the title screen of that reminds me of this sound effect. Or rather, this sound effect reminds me of that. So we'll continue to follow the clues. Got ourselves another X here. Another red X. Another cool character I like. Another reference. Is that all this playthrough is going to be? References to other things? Oh, what's so funny is I didn't even register what the clue is. I'm pretty sure it's a question mark. No, it's not a question mark. Maybe the next one is. But I just kind of like muscle memory, know where, remember where to go. All right. Did I miss? Nope. There it is, the question mark. Ha! You'll never find me now. And briefly looks around. Hmm, I wonder. Alright. Yikes! Please open me gently! What do we need to do? Is it this attack? That's what we need to do. Alright. And so with that, we only have a couple more Jiggies left here. How do we want to find them? Oh, I almost ran right into that. <laughs> I should have been paying more attention. Hmm, I think we're gonna need to fly, so let's let's just go over to this flight pad. No, don't fall! Aw oh, man, rip. Can I make the jump over here? No, I don't think I can. That was one of the first things I tried, isn't it? <laughs> Darn, that's uh unfortunate. Alright, maybe we'll maybe we'll just take the easy way to get to a flight pad. And hang out with our favorite salty hippo over here. Salty, or originally salty, but now appreciative for the help. Okay, so we have this other path we can go to. We've got a musical note, again, leading us over here. Good game design. We're only eight notes away, which is really nice. And now we're up here. It's awfully quiet. Got 
Got ourselves a a Jinjo over here. <laughs> that whistle. Our final one. That's the second time that I've gotten the yellow Jinjo last. My apologies. You've been awarded a gamer pick. What? Lucky you. What's a what's a gamer pick? Like I said, I've never had an Xbox thing. It's got to be like a, maybe like a profile or something or I don't know. That's pretty cool though. I guess. <laughs> We take those. All right, so let's climb up here. We could use the the shock jump or whatever, shock spring jump there. But if we keep going around here, we'll find some more notes, which are absolutely essential. And we're at max eggs, which is nice. So behind here, we've got ourselves another grunty switch. Where does this one lead to? Ah, yes. So it shoots out of the cannon right outside of the Treasure Trove Cove level. And then in here, I believe... Nice. A Mumbo Token, which is not what I was expecting. But more importantly, the remaining notes. And you found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Wait, I almost... I thought I missed for a second. Well, I mean, I did miss, but I thought I almost fell off. And the final Jiggy. All right, and so with that, I wonder what happens if I jump off here. Oh, I actually fall. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> so with that, we have all of the notes. We have all of the jiggies. I don't know if we have all the mumble, mumbo tokens or not. I mean, again, I'm not going to go out of my way to collect every single one or use a guide or something like that. But, yeah. Um, that's... That's Treasure Trove Cove for you, I guess. I don't think there's a whole lot more to do here. We got the Grunty Switch. So, yeah. Again, a really fun level. I like that they get you aerial for the first time. You can explore from, you know, a much bigger, uh, oops. A much higher up vantage point and there's a whole bunch of swimming to do. The level's, you know, a lot bigger, I would say. I wonder, let's take a second and take a nice look from atop the lighthouse. Again, part of why I'm enjoying this game so much and so excited to play it again is because of how beautiful it looks. So let's take a second to appreciate all the scenery we can, right? And this might offer us the best view we have available. So, taking a look around. Well, maybe it's not the best view. <laughs> but I love the charm of, you know, the snacker and the shark food island and... Even Nipper, even if it's not, you know, like a particularly difficult battle or anything like that, but the colors and the theme is so fitting, and the sandcastle, leaky the little bucket. Wow. Beautiful. Gotta love that static water. Oh, no, wait! It's not static. I think it's barely shifting. <laughs> but it's not like you guys are interested in that. So, we'll take the, uh, the quick way down. I think... Yeah, the beginning is over this way. So down we go. As you can see, we do take fall damage. I didn't realize it would be that much, so I probably was a little bit riskier there than I should have been, but... Oh, I haven't shown you guys this. So if you break these down, you get three honeycomb pieces as opposed to one from an enemy. I think there's some times where if you break those or too many of them, you'll, I think, have like bees attacking you or something, but it's fine. All right, and away we go. So that was Treasure Trove Cove. We're greeted with this little friend here. And we, I think we can go up here. This is where we saw that cannon. There's another one of those things, but we want to go over here. So that's what we'll do. We got one of Grunty's minions, but they're no match for us. And now we're at max red feathers and we have our last treasure trove cove related collectible obtained and so with that i think we're pretty good to move on to the next level i think we explored all the areas we could for the time being so the next big thing we're going to want to do is go back to that note door from before oh we got a we got a friend here so let's go unlock this door we've got more than enough Interesting, so do they really want me to have collected 90 notes from both levels? Might be a little bit 
assuming too much on behalf of, you know, a beginner gamer playing the game for the first time, but... Either way, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Treasure Trove Cove, uh, again, a really fun level. We got to explore Gruntilda's lair a little bit. And I hope you guys are looking forward to more. Again, this, this game has so much charm. It's really, it's really a joy to experience, and I'm having a blast, so I hope you guys are too. But, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Kazooie beating up on Banjo? If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. Gruntilda never, I guess, uh, Gruntilda never misses out on a chance to take a stab at us, but anyways, I was in the middle of my outro, Banjo and Kazooie and Gruntilda, don't interrupt me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to the next one, but until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>